guys, it's me, Jennifer. Welcome back to West of Loathing. Things have been happening. We we did a lot last episode. Um, we defeated the rock monster. We have this awesome ghost hat. Uh, can't forget the ghost hat. And we also are emaciated. 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 <laughs> so... We have a lot going on on our map. We got a lot of places up here that we haven't checked out yet. Three, to be exact. The Silver Platter, the Big Apple, and the Snake Spring. Um, I think we're gonna check out the Snake Spring. I think that sounds best for the time being. I definitely want to, uh, level up because my Moxie and Muscle are down by three and we have to fix that. We have to fix that. You find an abandoned mi uh, car of uh, I just can't talk right now. You find an abandoned crate which has mine stuff sent along the side, which is the worst grammar you've ever seen, even in a time and place notable for its awful grammar. Yada yada yada, kerosene, snow and salts, and dynamite. So I want to go to the springs. I have a feeling there's going to be snakes here. Uh oh, a snake fountain. I guess that's about the only way to describe that. Yeah, weird. We have fortune being very useful a snake fountain. For what? Three snakes! Oh. Uh-oh. Um. I don't know if I'm, uh, that happy. You know, I was thinking, as many as there are cactus around, you definitely would get the perk sooner or later. The scabby perk. There's no way. What is that? What is going on? Yes, an endless stream of snakes pours out of a hole in a canyon wall. Grab a big one, grab a handful. Big one, I guess. I heard them pissing at me. Okay. So, I think I'm just gonna attack him with my bone. And he's just gonna attack him. And that was that. That was beautiful. 15, that snake spleen. Snake doesn't have enough skin. Oh, so it just keeps coming. Let's grab a handful. Oh, okay, so they're all the same size, really, right? Like, okay, no. no I don't think so. Um, good, good, good. Uh, I'm curious how my spook spell is on these snakes. These snakes, snakes. Okay, spooky, spooky. Oh, it kills him in one hit. Nice. Alright, so we have one snake left. Let's do Haymaker. Punch your target for 20 damage. And disable them for a round. Ooh, oh boy, howdy. Okay, so that was that. I got 40 for that, so I guess it's better to do a handful of them. Um, so I'm just gonna level up for a bit. Okay, so I did a good amount of moxie and muscle. Um, it's nice to know that that's just there, always flowing, in case I never need to level up real quick. So we're gonna leave. We're gonna leave the snake spring and we're gonna go to the big apple. The big poop. I wasn't really looking forward to this. Some flock flock noises lead you to the sight and the sight of a goblin chopping down a large cactus. When it sees you, it waves its axe at you threateningly and makes some angry sounding noises. Hey, it's a human person! Hey, human person! Away to going! It's my cactus, that's mine, and not yours. Talk to it. Um, hello? Hello? How are you? I will not your cactus taking. Good, yes, good, hello. You <laughs> still look so angry. Why are you two chopping a cactus down? Why? What a lot of uses. To building, to burning, to eating, little toothpicks. Take its axe? No, leave him alone. We decided to leave the goblin to Sorry, he probably have more important things to do. Okay, interesting. As you reach the center of the clearing, you are simultaneously struck with a profound awe and a terrible stench as you discover the largest road apple you've ever seen. You can't even imagine how this got there. Was it a giant horse? Was it 200 normal sized horses acting uh, collaboratively? They 
They should have said a poem. Yeah, they should have. Wow, it's... I thought it'd be bigger. Are we checking it out? Did we clean it up? I guess so. Okay. Keep digging. Keep... Oh, what? Can I just do this forever? Oh, I did the whole thing! Great! Oh my god, I didn't even realize it was slowly disappearing. I thought it was a never-ending pile of poop. Okay, so, um... I guess the Big Apple is no more. You are very digging. Is the enjoyment for humans? Well... Not really. <laughs> Not really. Okay, the silver platter. Your El Vibrato beeps and you follow the signal. Because of course you do, why wouldn't you? The one reason why you might not is that you led it to a hulking robot that can easily profound you to scrap. Oh my god. Okay, the spooky work. Spooky is like the best thing I can do. So... Okay, okay, we'll do, we did a pretty good dent. Oh my goodness, I don't know what's happening right now. We need to defeat this thing, though. Not too shabby. Okay. Congratulations, you successfully enjoyed a priceless ancient relic of a bygone and forgotten age. I got some scraps. I wonder if the professor would like that. Okay, I need to buy some more shroom grow. If he sells things. Howdy, what can I do for you? Well, do you have a menu? A menu, what are you talking about? Isn't this a walk-up style restaurant? What? No, I'm the silver platter. I play things with silver, you know? Oh, I thought your sign was... Never mind. The man grins, revealing a full set of silver-plated teeth. So, you need something to play it in? What are my options? Looks like you up and down. I can play the hat you're wearing. People with silver hats get more done, they say. This will enchant your hat to add one of your max... Do I chant? But it's a ghost hat. It's, it's meant to be see-through. Maybe something else. You can play my melee weapon. Ooh, my bone. You can do my bone. Yeah, do that. Okay, what else can you play? The hat? No. The pistol? No. My mouth? Play it my tongue? Wait, what would that do? If I am looking tongue you got there, I could play that for sure. Maybe later. What would that even do? I don't even Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, well, that was that. I'm gonna wander because we have not filled out this area. A circus! Go there now! Yes! Oh my gosh. Who would have thought there would have been a circus? Well, this is a little weird. You didn't have to find a circus all the way out here. There's basically nobody around for miles. There's a rodeo clown manning the ticket booth. Well, there hasn't actually been a rodeo since the cows came home, so I guess it's just a clown. Ugh, clowns. You are not liking Painted Man. They're so creepy. When I was little, my uncle would give me nightmares with old stories about them. Yes, yes, old stories. Goblins are telling old stories, too. Evil Painted Mans, evil fire cows far, far below, always to fighting, many wars. Yeah, that, that's right. Supposedly, really old clowns dress up like that because the first rodeo were enactments of those battles, and it became a traditional thing. These men's just regular man's being. Painted man's up from up here. Yeah, I know. Still creeps me out, though. Yeah. Okay, so... As you approach the clown... Cloud... Puts on the basically cheerful facial expression that retail employees use when it's the last thing they want to deal with is with the customer, but they are not allowed to say so. Welcome to Barnaby Bob's perfectly normal traveling circus sideshow. Ma'am, how can I help you? Like to, I like to run away with the circus. I'd like to see the circus, please. We came to the right place then. <laughs> but if you want to go inside, I need a ticket. Can you sell me one? I oh, certainly can. It's my job, after all, for you, ma'am. It'll be 5,000 meat. Say what? Does seem a bit high? I promise you, man, at this price, it's a real steal. Why so expensive? I, don't, I barely have 1,000. Well, now, there's no little podunk traveling circus. We've got rides, games, food, amazing demonstration of knife throwing skill, but none other than Barney Bob himself. Tell me about the food. We well, you got your favorites: popcorn, sarsaparilla with the fancy new bottle caps. And get this: Did you hear about the new thing the Bell invented? Cotton candy? Yeah, I think I might have. Well, it's still patented. I'm pretty sure we figured out how it works, mostly, more or less. 
They were the rides. Well, I suppose I should say ride. We haven't had a single grizzly merry-go-round accident since, uh, since we stopped turning it on. <laughs> Tell me about the games. We got tons of them. Does three count as tons? Three is more like some. We got some of them. Tell me more about Barnaby Bob. Oh, the boss is real master and nice. Let me tell you, he does some amazing stuff where he gets a volunteer from the audience up on stage and throws knives at him. He never misses his target. Did you leave the part out where he puts an apple in their head or something? What? Oh, right, sure. You're not doing a very good job at selling me on this. Why? Whatever do you mean? Attempt to intimidate the clown. You put your hands on the counter and lean towards the clown with a snarl. I mean... I'm sick of being played for a fool. If you think I'm going to shell that much meat to get into a dive like this, you got another thing coming. Are you going to give me a ticket or am I going to punch your ticket? The clown grinned, showing you a mouthful of yellow, unusually pointy teeth. Think you're a tough cookie, eh? Listen, good, bucko. All I have to do is shout near the new next sideshow exhibit. We'll call it the amazing crybaby of mulch, but hey, it'll get you in for free. How's that plan grab you? Why I oughta. Step back, Junior. You're out of your depth. Well, that didn't go the way I wanted it. Oh, 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 a couple tents and many people. Have you ever been to a circus, Gary? A circus? What? No, what is it? What do you think we should do next? Uh, the train. Okay, well, I think that's where we're gonna have to go next. Is that snow or is that the horses in there? Alright, let's wander a little more. Ooh, Blazy a Dude Ranch. Check it out now, dude. Alright. Ooh, hey, sec. Got me a needle. Looks like someone is washing ferrets in this thing. Yuck. Ooh, the house is gone. Kicked it open, handful of nails, and I got a lock. Oh, there's a lady. Hey, like, howdy. I'm selling herbal remedies. Care to buy? What kind of herbal remedies? They're kind of gifted to us by Gaia without any interference by human hands. So, weeds? That's a derogatory term created by the man. But yeah, basically. I guess I'll buy one. Alright, I got an herbal remedy. Hey. Hey, yeah. Howdy, man. What's happening? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Oh, not much, man. We moved on this little patch of land to grow crops, but then we decided it was more natural just let Kaya grow whatever she wants, right? I bet that's a lot easier, too. <laughs> right on, man. Neat. Where'd you get that hat? Oh, this? Friend of mine made it, man. I forget which one. What do you take for it? Well, I have been thinking of trying a new style, man. Maybe like one of those hats that army guys used to wear back in the day. Like, it's kind of an ironic statement, man. There's an old fort over yonder that way. I'll stop you if you can find one of those, man. Alright. Um. Where did I just go? Howdy, Cora. I'm Louise, Louise Larthrop. Why the long face, Louise? Oh, jeez. Basically, because I'm stuck here farming with a couple of dummies, I don't know how to farm a dang thing, so they slowly let the weeds grow and call it natural. I'm so sick of eating dandelions I could scream. Why don't you leave? I haven't got any me or any other prospects anywhere to go. I mean, dandelions are terrible, but they're better than eating dirt. This is such a mess. How'd you get in this predicament? I headed west after graduating baking school and fell into it with these guys that... They talked about a big game, about natural grains. Fool that I was. I didn't realize all they were really interested in getting silly on local weed, not doing any work. So you're looking for work? Gosh, yes, desperately. The only trade I know is baking, though. Do you know where someone is hiring a baker? Heck, even an unpaid would be better than this. With a room and a board, I just went out of here. I don't. I don't know anybody. Shucks, well, if you hear anything, please let me know. I will. I wanted to... I thought maybe I... Oh, I thought maybe I, I did find that hat. There's a bunch of manure. Search the bags. Ooh, shroom grow. Just what I needed. Oh, here's the garden. Well, that's nothing. There's nothing going on with this garden. Alright, so we're just going to get out of here. Let's wander a little bit more. Another goblin. A rustling sound in the bushes draws your attention. You decide to investigate because that's what adventurers do, no matter how bad of an idea it probably turned out to be. 
The wrestling turns out to be a goblin. A goblin wearing clown makeup and practicing their cartwheels, and mostly failing. Eventually, they give up on tumbling practice and start repeatedly throwing a shiny metal ball into the air and catch it. He's so scary! Wow, uh, hello. Hello, hi, what are you doing? I'm learning to, I am to learning a juggle. It tosses a single ball in the air again, but distracted by the conversation. It misses the catch. Okay, but why? A clown becoming, joining the circus, far away to traveling, far, far to traveling, and then to popping. Okay, I guess that makes kind of sense. Kind of. Um, we're just not going to do with him right now. Okay, you guys, I'm going to end that here. Um, next episode, we're going to check out the other side. Maybe wander a little bit more up there. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll look online, look on maps online, see if I got everything before I head out to the railroad camp. But that's what I'm going to do in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this episode of What's the Loathing. I think we're on part 10, which is insane to me. But hey, whatever. You guys are loving it. I'll put more out of it. So thank you so much for watching this episode. And I'll catch you guys later.